Oh, Empowerment Summit happening in honor of the 40 years ministry of Archbishop Charles Ajinasari. My name is Smart Stetcher Nixon. You're live on Precious Television, on Facebook, and on YouTube at Archbishop Charles Ajinasari. Eight lined up speakers for the Supernatural Empowerment Summit, which has gone all around the world in Ghana, Nigeria, UK, the Netherlands, and Pakistan. This morning, we're blessed by the ministry of Apostle Professor Abraham Gaji, who focused on intellectual power. He mentioned the other power that rules the world, the economical power, the societal power, and the political power. But he said, Christians should take intellectual power serious so we can raise more Josephs in our country. Then after that, we had Apostle Eric Nyamite, the sixth chairman of the Church of Pentecost, who also talked about the reward of eternal life when we take up the gospel. Ladies and gentlemen, if you just tuned in, you are live for the evening session. The 14,000 seater auditorium is ready to host you. Wherever you are in Ghana, make your way here as we enjoy the Supernatural Empowerment Summit. Yesterday, we brought you reactions, impressions, and had some interactions with our participants and the clergy. And so we'll be speaking to a few people to find out what their expectations are at the end of tonight's session. We have one day more. It's never too late for you to also join us. So I'll be picking up some views of some of the people who have joined us today at the Supernatural Empowerment Summit. And this is day four. Hello, sir. Very good evening to you. Yeah, good evening, sir. Um, how are you doing? Your name and your church? Probably the country you're coming from. Okay, I am Renka Kudevi from Cote d'Ivoire. I am a founder of ACC Church. ACC Church. Yeah. Okay. So, um, it's been four days. Yeah, yeah. It's been four days. We started on Monday yeah. and here we are on Thursday. Yeah. Tell me, so far, all the speakers that have spoken, what is one thing that has caught your attention the most? Oh, what I can say about this summit is awesome. And the, the thing I realized that if you are a minister, a serious minister, is this is the kind of program you have to attend for a transformation for a next level of your ministry. And this is all the summit is all about, just to shift our mind to do our work well. All as right. a minister okay so we are working the works of god yeah. that is what the archbishop is saying yeah, yeah. when you take a look at a man like that 40 years in ministry signs and wonders following his ministry and he has been doing this for 40 years now what do you desire from a man like that oh what i desire is a consistency of this kind of man of god because sometimes we can see some people who are doing goods mm -hmm. 10 years uh -huh. 20 years but Archbishop Agina Sari, our dad, have been consistency over these 40 years. Wow. So we, we just come in this country to catch this kind of anointing, to be persistent, consistency, and to, de, to do science, wonder, and miracles. Wow. Awesome. Thank you so much for passing through. And that was one of the participants speaking to us about his expectation for this supernatural empowerment summit so clearly he talked about the consistency of the archbishop for 40 years now doing ministry right here in ghana and we celebrate the 10th edition of supernatural empowerment summit i just um spotted some um, one of the pastors who is looking forward to be ordained later in the Supernatural Empowerment Summit. We have uh, Pastor Bright Amedahe who is um, with us this evening. I'll be picking his thoughts and what he's looking forward to because of his ordination. Hey, Pastor Bright, very good evening to you. Good evening to you too. Um, the, 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 the job you took up to, to send the message to other parts of Accra. And here you are, you're expecting an ordination later. How is the feeling like? I saw your Facebook page. This is an honor you don't take for granted. Talk to me about the feeling. I mean, it's so um, exciting and also very, very humbling uh, to be considered to be ordained, I mean, by the Archbishop for some, someone who has been in mission for over 40 years and has been very, very consistent it's so um, very, very humbling, as I said, uh, to be considered by such a man uh, to be uh, ordained. Yes, please. Also, so um, this is very, very uh, refreshing 
Because at the end of the day, like you said, there's someone you're serving under and you're going to have him lay hands on you, ordain you into ministry, hoping to clock 40 years like he has done. What, what, what is the goal for you when um, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost spoke about the reward should be in the mind of every minister? Okay, so um, as when the chairman was speaking, um, one of the things he kept em emphasizing is um, that our goal should not necessarily be early things, but then our goal should be pleasing God and becoming like him. So for um, Archbishop to ordain me tomorrow, I, I feel the, um, Apostle Eric uh, Nyameche has just given me a very wide and big vision, which I had not really considered before. Uh, so, um, yes, um, I, I feel tomorrow when Archbishop ordains me, I'm actually being launched into um, a great work to make people like Jesus and to follow Jesus. It's awesome. They said the cars will come. The, uh, the, 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 time will come. the time will come. Your time will come for the cars and the other things that will be added. Like the Archbishop said, and a powerful wife as well. Sure. Are we looking forward to that? I'm expecting all this. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was our Pastor Bright Amedahe of Perez Chapel International. He will be ordained tomorrow at the Supernatural Empowerment Summit. There has been master classes being organized for the pastors, teaching them on church branding, talking about organizing crusades and other things about ministry that they need to know. So ladies and gentlemen, this is day four and it's the evening session. We're still picking the thoughts of some of our participants who are coming around they are still coming around for this particular event so we have a lady here you tell us your name and your church and probably the country you're coming from okay my name is mrs ajiba de kenzi coming from cote d'ivoire wow. i used to attend the french service here but now uh, i'm established in cote d'ivoire so i came just for the supernatural empowerment and uh, it has been a blessing. I came yesterday and I was so blessed. Yesterday with the ministry of, I forgot the name, but it was on holiness. And then Archbishop spoke about divine protection. And this morning we were blessed with Apostle Gaji Abraham. It's such amazing and I'm so blessed to be here. Thank right. you. So coming from Cote d'Ivoire, uh, very familiar with this morning session, uh, Apostle Professor Abraham Gaji, his message about the Josephs of the land, his message about building intellectual power. How did you feel sitting in the service listening to all the things that you were sharing with us? Actually, now I'm attending his church in Côte d'Ivoire. And what I would like to say, let me go in French. So maybe the people uh, speaking French will understand okay. better what I want to say. Okay. Dans les pays francophones, il est difficile de trouver des pasteurs qui ont ce niveau intellectuel. Et nous avons véritablement besoin de serviteurs de Dieu qui ont un tel niveau pour pouvoir influencer la sphère politique, la sphère sociale et la sphère économique de nos pays. On a vraiment besoin de cette qualité d'homme de Dieu. Et vraiment, professeur Gadji Abraham est une icône en Côte d'Ivoire. Et le fait qu'il soit pasteur et en même temps professeur, il a la double vocation et c'est ce, ce dont nous avons besoin dans nos pays francophones afin de changer et de modifier le système politique de nos pays. Merci. Okay, so clearly what our um, French counterpart is talking about was the sermon of Apostle Professor Abraham Gaji where he talked about people having social power, economical power, political power, intellectual power, so that we Christians can rise and control the terrain, be it medicine, be it politics, be it law, be it media, be it entertainment. Such a man who is a professor and also a man of God has attained a height of this nature. So it is possible with you too. Thank you so much for passing through. And that was a very, very great juxtaposition by our French counterpart. She came all the way from La Côte d'Ivoire. As of Wednesday, we had 50 countries, 50 countries registered for the Supernatural Empowerment Summit. It can't get better than this. If you just tuned in your life on Precious Television, on Facebook, you can get us at Archbishop Charles Ajinasari and on YouTube at Archbishop Charles Ajinasari. It's day four, the evening session of Supernatural Empowerment Summit. Eight speakers. We have heard from Bishop Joseph Imakando, Reverend Dr. Steve Wengam, Dr. Robert Ampia Kofi. We have also heard from Apostle Professor Abraham Gaji and the host Archbishop Charles Adjinasari. I know there are more to come 
and we're expecting more than what we have experienced. I'll be picking the thoughts of some of our participants who have also come through tonight. Beautifully cladded in the SES T-shirt. You are ready for tonight? I'm ready. You are ready? I'm ready. So tell us, what, what are your expectations for tonight? You know, uh, Ike Bishop has been somebody who has inspired a lot of us. Me, for instance, I don't used to be in church. I, I, I wasn't a church type of person. But since I came into Paris Chapel, I have realized that everything is possible. Because yesterday I heard him speak about the truth that you know is the truth that sets you free. I always, we have already read the, read the Bible and said, say, the like, the, the, the truth shall set you free. The, and truth you that, know. the truth you know is the one that will set you free. Oh. So I have come to the knowing that I must know what is setting me free. Oh. And it's awesome. very inspiring. Okay. So um, we, have, we have seen a few of the speakers um, from Zambia, from Cote d'Ivoire. We have had um, a few of them. You understand me. And so here we are. Here we are. And uh, we are almost done, almost done with the summit. At the end of this summit, what do you want to take away? You know, the blessings of the fathers are important. Archbishop always speaks about the father's blessings. And this is what we want to be partakers of. All right. Thank you so much. And that is uh, one of the participants uh, coming to the Supernatural Empowerment Summit. Ladies and gentlemen, this is day four. It is the evening session of Supernatural Empowerment Summit happening right here at the Perez Dome, Jowlu Junction in Accra. On Monday, we started with the evening session through to Tuesday, Wednesday, and today, Thursday, in the morning, we saw the ministry of Apostle Professor Abraham Gaji and also Apostle Eric Nyamite. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are home, you are not late. You can still make your way to the Perez Dome we will be going into the studio very soon but i want you to have a glimpse of whatever that's happening in the auditorium right about now so as of now you can hear there is music we have praise and worship ongoing right now and the atmosphere is charged as you can hear every single thing going on at the moment is very 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 practical so ladies and gentlemen this is the event Thank you, Smart Teaching Exxon, for that wonderful introduction. Um, you're watching the Supernatural Empowerment Summit 2023. I'm Apostle Francis Ajinasari, and I have a very wonderful guest here with me. Um, because I don't want you to miss what is going to happen in the service, we're going to go straight to our discussion. Uh, this person is an elder at Perez Chapel International. He's a member of parliament uh, for Ningo Pram Pram constituency. He is very known for being vocal about uh, uh, very touchy issues. And so tonight, pleasure is mine to have here with us Honorable Elder Sam Nati George. Thank you. Elder. <laughs> <laughs> so w w what is it? Is it Honorable Elder or Elder Honorable? Fair, yeah, I mean, anyone goes. <laughs> wow. You can do them interchangeably. Wow, wow, wow. Maybe Elder First. Elder First. Yes. Elder Honorable Sam yes. George. Okay. It's good to have you here. Pleasure is mine. Uh, Honorable, I've been seeing you throughout the week. At the SES. Yes. And I think the obvious question is what is a politician doing at a charismatic event like this? Well, uh, very good evening to our viewers and to yourself. Um, I, I always say that first and foremost, I'm a child of God before being a politician. Mm. And, and I'll do politics for a while and move on to some other things. Mm. But I will not move away from being a child of God. Mm. And it's going to be my eternal purpose till God calls me home and when I appear before him I have to account for my time here on earth so my salvation and my faith is primary mm -hmm. to every other consideration um, like I said to you I rushed straight from the constituency I was in the constituency where we had a little bit of um, disaster with the rainfalls and so we're doing an intervention and a few other things but the politics can wait mm -hmm. because it's time for for church and wow. so I had to rush back to church and so the church is an integral part of what I do and supernatural empowerment has been a huge personal blessing mm. 
to my family and I. And so it, it, it's something that I, it's a program I don't joke with. Mm. It's the highlight of my year. The two, the two times of the year where I don't miss church. Mm. The, the, the last week of January, after we've done the month of prayer mm. and fasting, mm. and that one week where that he leads us through the power encounter. You know, for me, I pray into the year mm. and commit every month of the year during that period of fasting and prayer, most times three weeks or at times three and a half weeks. I am committing every every day of the week is for a different month of the year mm. and what I intend for God to mm. do in that month mm. of the year. Mm. And 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 I have come to that place where when we are giving the envelopes for our prayer topics, mm. it's five. Mm. <laughs> I, I take two because mm. I always do. I do one for myself and I do one for my family, my mm. wife and kids and my parents. And, and I, have, I don't just write the prayer topics. What I do is when I write the prayer topics, I have a book and I also write them in that book. And I track God. It's mm. my way of tracking mm. God. Mm. And it has never failed me. Mm. And supernatural empowerment has also never failed me. Mm. Anything I've put before God has come to pass. Mm. Mm. So before we come back to SES, um, you said you've been a church boy. Yes. But I know that someone can, uh, when someone sleeps in a the garage, they don't become a car. A car. They sleep, they, they swim in the sea, they don't, they become, don't become a fish. fish. So when you say you're a church boy, I'm sure there are people thinking, ah, maybe it's routine when <laughs> why and how did you get saved okay um for me i i'm a child of covenant okay. my parents were married for eight years my mom had 10 miscarriages mm. um she was called a witch who was eating her children mm. and then she went to an apostolic church ghana convention and went into a covenant with god mm. and said a year by this time as you did for hannah if you give me a son I would name him Samuel mm. and I will hand him back. Mm. So a year later, my mom carried her first pregnancy to full term and gave birth to a boy, me. Mm. And that's how I'm called Samuel. And so I wasn't dedicated in church. I was handed back mm. to God. Mm. And so as a kid, I had always been told that, look, it is church. And I grew up in a household where we were in church almost every day. Mm. My mom was a women, women's cell uh, fellowship leader, mm. zonal leader. My dad was a cell leader. Mm. And so <laughs> on Sunday, we go to church mm. and close church on Sunday, get back home around 1 o'clock. And then from 6 to 8 p.m., we had cell meeting in the house. And then on Monday was women's fellowship. Mm. I will go with my mom mm. to women's wow. fellowship <laughs> in the evening after school. Mm. On Tuesday after school was men's fellowship. Mm. I will go with my dad for men's fellowship. Mm. On Wednesday was the teaching service. Mm. I will go for the teaching service. Thursday was when cell leaders had their, their pre-cell meeting, uh, uh, meet, teaching meeting. Mm. I will go with my dad. Mm. On Friday was either an all night or a, a, a deliverance service. Mm. I will be in church. Mm. Saturday was evangelism and Sunday was church again. <laughs> so that's how I grew up. Wow. So it's been a church thing from my infancy. But I would say that I got to know the Lord personally when I was eight years. Okay. And, and as young as seven, eight years in, in the children's service, my church in Nigeria at the time, Christian Pentecostal Mission, used to have what we call the children crusades, mm. where children were actually holding crusades. Mm. And so at eight years old, I held my first crusade in Nigeria. Wow. Um, we had Muslims give their life to Christ and all of that. Mm. And so it's been a walk with God. Mm. I mean... Um, when I got into my teens, a little bit of truancy setting and a mm. few things. But when I came back to the university, at the, when I entered the university, Kwame Nkrumah University at 16, again, I rekindled my walk with God and, and started serving in the Student Chaplaincy Council. And it's been that since in, in, in 2005, when I left the university, I went back to Nigeria a bit and came back in 2006. And I was looking for a church mm. where I would worship. And I was all over the place. Whilst on campus, I was with Pensa. Mm. Um, I tried to do a few Church of Pentecost services. It never really hit me. And then I, I moved into a single room in Jolu mm. in 2007. And uh, I bought my first TV set. And the first day I turned it on, the, when I turned it on, it was TV3. Mm. That was the first channel I got. Mm. And Archbishop Arjunasari, then Bishop Charles Arjunasari, mm. was on air. And I listened to the sermon. Mm. And when he finished, he said the church was in Joel, at Jolu Junction. I said, I like this sermon. I want to come here. Mm -hmm. And so I walked here, the old auditorium, yeah. in 2007 and, and, and started worshipping here. And 2023, so S that's 16, that's 16, almost 16 years, years wow. since I've been here. Wow, yeah. wow, wow. And uh, wow, that's powerful. <laughs> I'm surprised we're in the same church. I've never heard that before. <laughs> wow. And, and, and uh, so how did you become an elder? 
care. Because, you know, the, the perception for a, no, a number of people is that, you know, once you get to a particular status in life, then... The church, they, the they church confess, awards, yes, basically. You, yes. um, for me, I, I, I consider myself a vestry boy. Okay. I, almost every Sunday I try to go to the vestry. I, I believe that it's my, it's my responsibility to serve my spiritual father, mm -hmm. the Yak Bishop. Um, in politics, I, 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 I've served, by God's grace, two presidents, President mm -hmm. Mills, President Mahama. And I know the kind of respect I accord to them and the way I served them. Mm -hmm. And if I was in the Flagstaff House and President Mahama was around us and his residence and the people around, I knew how I would be of service mm -hmm. to him. And so for me, it's just that it's that same principle of service. If I can do that to my physical leader, um, mm -hmm. how much more my spiritual leader? Mm -hmm. And this is someone who feeds my soul. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's about serving the Archbishop in any capacity. I've, I've worked in um, the events department in the church. I've worked in the social media department mm. in the church i have been on planning committees for events i remember our festival for miracles mm. um i was in parliament at the time i would leave parliament even when we hadn't closed mm. and get on the ground with uh, apostle raymond at the time mm. now bishop raymond aqua and basically just walk the grounds to make sure that everything for me i'm willing and ready to do anything in the church wow. because for me every work you do in the church is a blessing mm. archbishop mentioned to me um the, the that he had been praying about it and was impressed upon his heart for me to be an elder two mm. years before mm. finally and i told him i was thinking about it mm. because I, I i really wasn't ready for Why? it and <laughs> I, I thought that well um it will bring a lot of pressure okay but you it's know? not because you were feeling dirty from politics no 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 okay. no, no no it's i mean for me the archbishop is not just my spiritual guide mm. he is also a very present fiscal guide mm. the archbishop is one of my biggest cheerleaders and one of my fiercest critics mm. i mean in fact just last week mm. no not last week during the supernatural mm. That was on Tuesday, the second day of the supernatural. He saw me in, at the vestry. I was standing at the vestry. And after he saw the guest, he said, come, 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 come. Mm. He had sent me a text earlier in the day reprimanding me over mm. an interview I had granted mm. <laughs> on Tuesday. Mm. So even as an elder of the church, he has not stopped. And I'm grateful to him because he's one of the few people in this country who is able to speak to me with candor, without fear or favor, mm. and acts as a check mm. and balance on me. He's able to call me up and say, I listened to this interview. You were, you were spot on fantastic. Mm. He's able to call me and say, what you did, don't repeat it. Mm. And he gave me a telling of... On Tuesday evening mm, wow. in the vestry, you know, and I said to him, I, I hear you, daddy, I, I, I duly noted, I won't do it again. Wow. So it is that kind of spiritual and physical guidance that I get from him mm. that makes me continue to serve under. And, and so when he came back again and after two years and said, Sam, we want to make you an elder, I said, daddy, mm. whatever you want me to do, mm. I'll do. Mm. And, and so that's the journey. Okay. And, and one of the roles of an elder is to supply the pulpit. Yes. And do you think you can supply the pulpit? So if, if maybe the pastor were not around, would you be able to preach a message? Are you, do you have doctrinal knowledge? Do you understand Christianity, like the, 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 the basics of Christianity? Well, I've, I've gone through a membership program of Parish Chapel then went miracle mm -hmm. when i when i joined but like i said to you i grew up in the church okay. and 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 when it comes to sound doctrine mm -hmm. um uh, you don't I, joke I, with that. I, 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 I don't joke with it. In mm. fact, some of the books, it was just this afternoon, I was thinking about some of the books I've read. Mm. Uh, I'm sure there are some men of God who've not even read some of the books I've read, you know, um, and it just hit me that I read the Rebecca Brown trilogy. Mm. He came to set the captives free, prepare for war, mm. and become the vessel unto honor. I read them at age nine. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know and 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 those are serious warfare books mm. that come with a lot of spiritual warfare mm. you read the books and there are there are all kinds of attacks after reading mm. the books mm. and all of those yeah. you know and and so for me doctrine is something that i'm very big on mm. and it's one of the reasons why i respect the archbishop mm. because his doctrine is sound mm. there, are, there are many people in this country whose doctrine is questionable mm. when you li listen to their doctrine there are people who are afraid to even preach on or speak to the doctrine of salvation mm. and holiness mm. but the Archbishop is one person who doesn't shy away mm. from the doctrine of holiness and salvation. Mm. And for me, a man of God who is able to stand and use his life as personal testimony mm. to reprimand the saints mm. and call our minds to the need for salvation and holiness mm. in this era where the church is more on prosperity mm. and, 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 and wealth. Mm. For me, that kind of doctrine is something I don't joke with. And mm. so... Uh, Preaching in the room, I'm not sure yet, but <laughs> but you can when, supply when, when, somewhere. Yes, but okay. but but if I, I I believe that it, it is not about me, it mm. is about it is about the Holy Spirit who will give you mm. utterance and give you give you the unction to to be able to perform. So, so so honorable with all this spirituality, 
why would you i'm wondering did you decide as a child that one day i want to be a politician maybe a president or <laughs> or you know what what happened why are you in politics because many people have the perception that um politics is a dirty game politicians are liars and thieves so i'm wondering the link between you and politics well i think that maybe god put me in politics for a reason to be able to send a message to the church that politics actually must be uh, it, mu it must be on the basis or the bedrock of the church mm. the church must form the bedrock of politics the political class mm. because whether you like it or not there are people who are going to make decisions for you the politicians who make decisions and do you want to have politicians making decisions mm. who take counsel mm. from men of god or do you want people who take counsel from other places mm. And those decisions they take will affect the church. Mm. I believe that the church must come to that place where we begin to actively encourage church members, mm. Christian tongue speaking, Bible believing Christians, mm. to go into politics. Mm. It's not true that politics is a dirty game. Mm. Dirty people do dirty politics. Mm. But politics is not a dirty thing. Mm. Politics in itself is a God-given calling. It's a calling. Mm. And that's why when, when God calls you, he equips you for it. Mm. And that's why the Bible tells us that he says we should, we should pray for those in authority. Mm. The people in authority are politicians. Mm. Okay, And he says mm. when the righteous is on the throne, mm. the people will rejoice. Mm. There will be plenty in the land. Mm. You know, And so it means that people must go into politics. Joseph was in politics. Mm. You understand me? Daniel was a politician. So it is important that we understand. In fact, the prophets of old mm. were politicians because mm. they sat in council they sat in cabinet mm. with the king mm. and so the perception that Christians should not find themselves in politics is a misnomer it's, it's actually mm. it's actually a, a, a doctrine from the pit of hell mm. to keep Christians away from decision making and policy making mm. and when you look at the world what they try to do is to push their people into positions of authority and power mm. and once they get in there they begin mm. to shape policy mm. policy that affects the, the church policy mm. that affects christians mm. you understand mm. me and even if, if you look at our half brothers mm. they are very particular about pushing their people into positions of authority not mm. just in politics mm. in business mm. in the security services mm. christians seem to be content with little mm. but you see our god is the one who owns a cattle mm. on a thousand hills mm. we, we must own the land mm. You understand me yes. and and control the resources of this world mm -hmm. and and it's happened before the united states of america in the in the in its in its inception mm -hmm. was run on the back of christian politicians mm -hmm. god gave them captains of industry who mm -hmm. were tongue-speaking christians mm -hmm. gave them presidents who were tongue-speaking christians mm -hmm. it is the prayer mm -hmm. An investment in the faith mm. of the founding fathers of the United States that is still keeping that country today, mm. even though it's lost its way. Mm. Mm. And, and you don't think that at some point you would surely compromise as a politician if you're trying to be a Christian and a politician. You, you need to you need to always come to that place where you make a decision, mm. salvation or politics. Mm. You understand me? You can't be perfect, and I won't run away from the fact. That I, as human as I am, I've made mistakes, I've made errors of judgment. Mm. Okay, but one of the things I would always say. Mm is that even my staunchest critics mm. in the opposition party mm. would not call Sam George corrupt. Mm. Because that is a line I won't cross. Because mm. that, 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 that is, is at the base of my faith. Mm. Corruption is something God abhors. Mm. And so you can't call me corrupt. Mm. So there, 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 there are things I have stayed away from in politics. Wow. I mean... Because I feel that the principle of it is wrong. For example, I give you a typical example. When, when, when I was leaving office in 2017, mm. after the NDC lost power in 2016, we we're offered our vehicles to buy. Mm. Our saloon car, my saloon car was less, my saloon car was just 14 months mm. old. Wow. It was offered to me at less than 10% of the value. I refused to buy it wow. because the principle of it mm. is something I disagree with. Mm. Mm. So you can be a Christian and be a politician and still stick to your faith. Wow, wow. This is powerful. This is powerful. So mm -hmm. I'm here with... Elder Honorable Sam Nate George, and I'm um, learning a lot from him <laughs> today. Honorable, it's a pleasure. pleasure um, very soon I'll be opening the phone lines because okay. I'm sure people are dying to hear your voice and you know interact with you for, sure. for a bit. Um, but yesterday, last night, Archbishop gave you the opportunity yeah. to uh, make a presentation. I think it was about a 30-minute presentation yes. on the alphabet people. <laughs> so maybe <laughs> you call them the alphabet yeah, people. And uh, you mentioned Christians influencing policy. And I'm guessing this is one of the areas Absolutely. where Christians are, are needed. So maybe in a nutshell, could you tell us what that whole thing is about and, and what your role is? Well, the, the, the scourge of homosexuality and the glamorization of it mm. into the rainbow 
which is for me the biggest abuse and assault on the Christian faith because mm. a rainbow is a sign of God's unfailing love mm. for us mm. and it's not a sign of perversion mm. you know and they have taken that sign and they're trying to attack and 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 change our children mm. this whole LGBTQ fight is is a fight against the innocence mm. and for the hearts and souls of our children mm. and as Christians we need to begin to rise up and stand up and it's been pushed from the highest policy decision making points mm. in the world mm. because they have intentionally mm. pushed their people in there mm. They talk about diversity, they mm. talk about inclusivity, yet they don't accept people who have extreme religious views. Mm. So where is the inclusivity mm. there? Where is the diversity mm. there? Okay. Now, pedophiles are even beginning to ask for acceptance. Mm. They're calling themselves minor attracted persons. Mm. You know, that's, that's, that's where we, this is going to. And that's why, as Christians, we must begin to take a stand. Mm. As the church, as politicians, mm. as business leaders, mm. you must not get yourself... If you run a company, don't get yourself... Mm pressured into saying you're doing inclusivity mm. and that means that you would allow for things that your faith the bible tells you clearly in the old and new testament leviticus and mm. romans that do not do this mm. and you say because of societal pressures you do it mm. no you must stand and be known for what you believe mm. and the people even in the united states mm. who have said i will not bake cake for a gay couple mm. because it's against my faith mm. you know mm. and and we must be willing to take a stand mm. as christians mm. we must come to that place where we we are at war mm. we are at war for the future and and of our children mm. and we must be willing and ready to take a stand mm. for them and say that this is a price to pay mm. this battle is not a it's not an easy fight mm. and and yesterday my attention was drawn <laughs> to that maybe i should have made it clear in that presentation mm. it is a prize mm. is a fight that comes at a huge cost what, what at what cost <laughs> I, I, look, I, heard, I heard a voice note. Yeah, I think it was a recording from an, an interview. interview. Yes, and uh, I couldn't believe my ears. Yes. You know, that you were uh, denied certain privileges. Look, yeah, I, I mean, as a member of parliament, I, 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 I have diplomatic privileges when I travel. I travel with a diplomatic passport, and you get to a part, an airport, and you're supposed to be taken into a VIP line, and then they bring security officials. You see, security with uh, with guns mm. come for you pull you out of the line mm. in front of other Ghanaians who are cutting off the plane as though there's something mm. wrong. They put you in a room. At times they strip search you what? just 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 to humiliate you. Mm. Uh, you know, I, I can't change a dollar anywhere in the world um, because once they swipe your passport, then it's flagged for anti-money laundering. They claim I'm laundering money for evangelicals in the U.S. Wow. I wonder where I'm laundering <laughs> the money to. Uh, if I was laundering money, then it would be for crusades, <laughs> for, for two windows, but that's not even the case. But those are some of the things, the prices you have to pay. Um, yesterday, I shared with Bishop Selassie, I'd been invited to speak at a, a conference in Costa Rica mm. um, on African democracy and digital democracy because a lot of what I do is in the IT space. Mm. Um, everything was sorted, is sorted. I'm supposed to have been going to Costa Rica next week. I got a very harsh worded letter mm. that they had, after my profile had been put on the conference uh, platform, there were a series of petitions against my participation. Wow. In fact, the organizers have redrawn and revoked my speaking privileges they have banned me from ever speaking on their platform mm. and even said they don't want a response to their email from me wow yeah that's how that's that's the level of of of, of hatred and, and you're basically. sure it's because of your crusade oh, it, because they, they made it clear in there that the petitions came about my views on diversity i see so <laughs> <laughs> you know and so this this comes at a huge mm. price but i mean you need to be ready People, I mean, if you read the 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 the, the patriarchs of our faith, mm. they paid prices. Mm. Some were stoned. Mm. Some some were crucified upside mm. down. Some mm. were put in boiling mm. oil. Mm. And, and so, if being pulled out of a a, a line mm. at the airport and held up for two hours, and then you are allowed to go, mm. is all that you have mm. to pay as a price. Mm. I mean, it's it's nothing compared to what the wow. patriarchs of our faith have done. Wow, we're so proud of you. So, so proud of you. So that's, <laughs> I know the, the cameraman in the studio is clapping for, <laughs> is clapping for Honorable Sam Judge. So we want to open the phone lines for a couple of minutes and uh, hear what you think about this discussion. What you, if you have a message for Elder Honorable Sam Nati Judge, uh, please do so. The number to call is 0207-10001, 0207-10001. So call right now just before we get into the auditorium. 0207-10001. If you're calling from outside Accra or outside Ghana, it's plus 233-207-10001. I'll just tell you something about supernatural empowerment. Go ahead. It's my testimony. Mm. I have two testimonies mm. of supernatural empowerment. 
when I got married, we, my wife and I decided that we're going to stay two years before having kids. Uh, you want to take a call? Yes, okay. that's a call. So maybe after that, I will yes, wrap up please, Yes, so, yeah. <laughs> so we have our first call on the line. First call on the line. Hello, good Hello. evening. Yes. Hello. Yeah. Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, good evening. Yeah, good evening, sir. Yeah, your name and where you're calling from, please. Yeah, good evening. You're, please go ahead. Uh, please, my name is Pastor Stephen, calling from Kumasi. Please lower the volume of your TV set, okay? Lower the volume. Stephen from Kumasi. Stephen, lower the volume of your TV set and talk to us. All right, go ahead, Stephen. Hello. Stephen, go ahead. Hello. Okay, Stephen, go ahead. Yeah, I am Pastor Stephen, calling from Kumasi. Go ahead. Mm hmm. Yeah, I've been, I've been all about who having not take those prizes. Mm. When he got to be there, he was advising us. Mm. And uh, it was so powerful. Mm. So I think uh, it's a glad for the Archbishop. Amen. And uh, I want to also congratulate uh, the Honorable Minister for this initiative. Yes. In fact, I can demonstrate to the world that uh, politicians are not, I mean, peace. And uh, the politics as a whole is not also a dating change. Mm. And the fact is that those actors, some of them are rather thieves and uh, <laughs> uh, who are playing it in a bad way. Amen. So uh, uh, I will encourage him to do whatever he's uh, uh, doing to motivate other Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Uh, amen. Amen. God bless you. So we'll pick one last call and then uh, we will go into the auditorium. I think uh, Honorable has uh, something to share with us. So we have a, another call on the. Hello, good evening. <laughs> Please, please, please turn off the volume of your TV. Hello, good yeah, good evening. Turn off the volume of your TV. Good evening. Can you hear me now? Yes, please go ahead. Yes, go ahead. Okay, I'm coming from the whole time. Again. I was just listening to the interview and I'm so proud of Onavu for all the good things he's doing. So she keeps strengthening him and the family and he should continue being him. Amen. 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 Honorable. So I think we'll pick one last caller. One last caller. Okay. So 0207 Let's pick our last caller before we get into the service. Hello? Okay. Hello? Yes. Please mute the volume of your TV. Hello? Okay. Mute the volume of your TV and then talk to us, all right? Okay, so let's close the phone lines now because we are out of time. Honorable, so you are going to share a testimony. Yes. So, so we got married in 2010. In 2012, we started asking God for the fruit of the womb. Mm. My wife conceived and then she, 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 she lost the, the pregnancy. Okay. And we came to Supernatural. And when we came to Supernatural, Which we saw... Was this was 2012. Okay. 2013, actually. Okay. 2013, okay. the okay. first Supernatural. Okay. And so we saw the seed. Mm. And 10 months later, we had our first son. Wow. And, 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 and six years ago, when Archbishop was ministering, one of the days I told I said, Daddy, I want your singlet. Mm. I said, the singlet you wore, I want it. Mm. And he gave it to me, and I've kept it. Mm. And every election I go into, I call it my spiritual bulletproof. And I was just telling him, I said, <laughs> he, he wears a medium. I'm a double X, but I wait <laughs> and go into my elections. And it's my spiritual bulletproof. Wow. I go, I win, and come back. Hallelujah. And so Supernatural has always been and would always be a fertile ground. Anybody who is not taking part mm. is missing a big thing. Wow, wow. You've heard the Honorable Minister... Please make your way straight to the Perez Dome Jaulu Junction for SES 2023. If you're outside Accra, please make time to come. We have just tomorrow morning and tomorrow night, and then we're done with the conference. Please, if you are in Accra, you can still come because the service, we still have a couple of hours to end the service. Yeah. Thank you so much. We're going straight into the service. Elder Honorable Samnati George, thank, thank you. you. And you. I hope we can continue this discussion Setting. in the studio. We'll, we'll make time for thank it. you so much. Thank Perfect. you. So, precious one, let's get into the service. God bless you and see you soon.
have the Lord of mighty club offering. Give it to Jesus. You can do it better than that. Clap your hands, all ye people. Acclamez vous peuple élu. Shout unto God. Et poussez un cri de joie. With the voice of celebration. Avec la voix de la célébration. Hallelujah. Amen. Tonight. Ce soir. The choir is just torn the place to pieces. La chorale est en train de nous bousculer l'endroit. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and I'm sure it's because this morning a French man spoke. And this evening a French man is going to speak. Et ce soir encore, un homme so there is a French anointing in the air. Donc, y a une option francophone dans la, l'atmosphère. <laughs> Uh, oh, clap your hands to the Lord. Acclame, acclame. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We are going to go into the first session. Nous allons commencer la première session. And this is one of the in fact when you go to Congo Brazzaville. Lorsque vous allez au Congo Brazzaville. And you don't take permission from him. Et vous ne lui demandez pas la permission. You can't go and preach there. Vous ne pouvez pas aller prêcher là-bas. So let's have the profile of Donc recevons le profil Yves Castano. de l'apôtre Yves Castano. Apostle Yves Castano, a speaker at the Supernatural Empowerment Summits 2023. Apostle E. Castanou is one of the leading voices in the French-speaking world, an associate co-founder of ICC Churches, a family of over 100 churches headquartered in Paris, France, and Brazzaville, Congo, with other branches in Europe, Africa, the Caribbean, and America. He is the senior pastor of ICC Churches in Congo. He is a renowned entrepreneur and business leader of large companies. He is the CEO of Congo Telecom, the national operator of telecoms in Congo, an officer of the Congolese Order of Merit. Apostle E. Castanou is married to P.S. Habi Castanou for 27 years, and they are blessed with two children. Apostle E. Castanou. Come and receive insight and impartation for kingdom finances and entrepreneurship. Ah, uh, let's receive Apostle Eve Castano. Hallelujah. Can someone give the Lord a better hallelujah? Is there anybody to shout your hallelujah? Can somebody shout a better hallelujah. La Bible dit que dans son palais, alors que nous sommes assemblés dans la présence de Dieu, dans son palais, tout s'écrit gloire. Everything is glorious. Dans son palais, in his kingdom, c'est-à-dire in your life. In y- in your life in our life we are the temple of God we carry the house of God we carry the presence of God and is he in his temple everything cries out glory so somebody say glory somebody say glory somebody say glory this is what is what God is doing in your life this week a life of glory est-ce que quelqu'un peut acclamer Jésus est-ce que quelqu'un peut acclamer Jésus can somebody clap on Jesus Seigneur nous te remercions 
Seigneur, nous te rendons gloire. Lord, we give you glory. Permettez-moi, je vais parfois parler en anglais, parfois en français. I will, I will je ne peux pas commencer, je ne prends pas comme étant un acquis le fait d'être là ce soir. I don't take it for granted to be here. Nous sommes infiniment reconnaissants. We are grateful. Je veux honorer I want us to honor. humblement et de tout mon cœur. La vie de l'archevêque Charles Aguenassaré et Maman Viviane. C'est notre première fois ici. This is our first time here. Et euh, archevêque et Maman, we feel like home. Et on se sent We don't feel nous. disconnected. <laughs> on ne sent we pas feel like we are just in the Congo. Uh, you know, it's a strange, it's a strange feeling. C'est comme si on est au Congo. Et, euh, vous savez, si vous voulez vivre longtemps. If you want to live for a long si time, vous voulez aller loin, if you want to go vous far, devez trouver des gens que Dieu utilise dans votre génération you need to find God is using qui vont et qui vont un peu plus loin que vous who are going even et vous devez les suivre, and you can vous devez them. les copier. And you can copy Nous them. sommes honorés d'être là, We are honored to be ici here à Accra, in Accra, ici à Perez Chapelle, We are to be in Perez et nous honorons Dieu pour la vie de cet homme de Dieu, de son épouse. Nous honorons Dieu pour... Tous les hommes de Dieu qui sont là cette semaine, qui ont parlé, nous rendons grâce à Dieu humblement et sincèrement. L'apôtre, notre frère bien-aimé francophone, nous rendons grâce à Dieu pour sa vie, pour tous les hommes de Dieu qui se sont là. Et nous rendons grâce à Dieu aussi pour le leadership de cette église. Nous rendons grâce à Dieu pour tous les hommes de Dieu qui sont là. Formidables hommes de Dieu, femmes de Dieu. Nous vous saluons dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Quelqu'un dit Amen. Et je ne peux pas terminer sans rendre grâce à Dieu, sans honorer Dieu pour la plus belle merveille du monde. Cette merveilleuse femme pour the last 29 years. 29 years, 29. 29, ans. 29 ans de mariage et honeymoon 29 years with of this marriage. wonderful wife, Pasteur Avec Rabbi Castano. J'honore ma femme. Please don't be jealous. Just be thankful and your turn will come. Donnez grâce à Dieu. Somebody say Amen. Quelqu'un peut dire Amen. Somebody say Amen. Quelqu'un peut dire Amen. Avant de commencer, pouvons-nous vraiment prendre le temps d'acclamer Dieu pendant 30 secondes Pour nous mettre nos mains ensemble, pour nous mettre nos mains Pendant 30 secondes, 30 secondes, acclamons Dieu, apprécions Dieu, rendons grâce à Dieu. Non, s'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît. I'm not talking about clapping our hand for a man, please. Je ne parle pas d'acclamer pour un homme. I'm talking about clapping our hand for the Lord Jesus Christ. Je d'acclamer le Seigneur Jésus-Christ. For the Lord of Lords. Le roi des rois, le Seigneur des Seigneurs. Clap your hand like this. Acclamez très fort. Acclamez Dieu très fort. Acclamez très fort. Nous devons dire, pouvons nous acclamer Dieu, apprécier Dieu. Nous sommes reconnaissants. Nous rendons gloire à Jésus. We are grateful with Somebody you. Somebody say Amen. Quelqu'un peut dire Amen. We want to pray, Père, dans le nom de Jésus. Lord, in the name of Jesus, nous sommes assemblés ce soir. We are gathered here tonight. Pendant ces quelques instants, in these few minutes, pour entendre ta voix. Lord, we want to hear your voice. Je ne sais pas parler. Lord, I don't know how to speak. I don't know how to speak. Je ne sais pas parler. You know it. I humble myself before you. Je m'humilie. Oh, Spirit of the Living God. Saint Esprit. Inspire. Inspire. The word of my mouth. Inspire mes paroles. The thought of my heart. Mm. At the end of this meeting, à la at la the fin, end of this week, à fin à la fin de la semaine, from the rising of the sun to its going down, mm. mm -hmm. let only the name of the Lord be glorified. Qu'à la fin le be nom du Seigneur soit be glorifié. Lifted up, be mm. celebrated. Mm. Sois célébré. Merci Père. Lord, thank you. Nous nous attendons à toi. Lord, we are just waiting Esprit on de you. Dieu. Spirit of God. Merci. Thank you. Reçois nos actions de grâce. Receive our thanksgiving. In the name of Jesus Dans le nom Christ. de Jésus Christ. Somebody say amen. Quelqu'un peut dire amen. Please be seated. Pendant quelques minutes. In the next few minutes. Que devons-nous faire? What are we going to do tonight? Pour faire les œuvres de Dieu. What must we do to work the works of God? Que devons-nous faire pour faire les œuvres de Dieu? What must we do to work the works of God? Je voudrais partager avec vous un sujet qui est dans notre cœur. I want to share something that has been on my heart. Pour faire les œuvres de Dieu, il y a of beaucoup God. à dire. Mm. Mais une des choses que je voudrais dire, there's so much to say about this, but I nous devons veiller to... à la transformation we, we wanna, de nos cœurs. We want to watch over the transformation of our hearts. Dis avec moi transformation. Say with me transformation. Dis avec moi transformation. Say with me transformation. 
I didn't hear you. Dis avec moi transformation. Say with me transformation de mon cœur. Of my heart. Par la puissance du Saint Esprit. By the power of the Holy Ghost. La Bible dit dans le livre de Luc chapitre 4 verset 18. The Bible says in Luke 4 18. L'esprit du Seigneur est sur moi. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Vous voyez quand le Saint Esprit vient. You see when the Holy Ghost comes. La puissance de Dieu vient. The holy, the power of God la comes. De Dieu vient. The majesty of God comes. Jésus dit, je suis loin du Jesus said, I'm anointed with the Holy Ghost. Du est sur moi. The Spirit of the Et Lord is upon me, and He has anointed pour me une bonne to preach good news. Annoncer le message de l'Évangile. To preach good news. Et il dit aux, aussitôt, and He said, il m'a envoyé he sent pour me guérir to heal les cœurs qui sont brisés. Il m'a envoyé he has sent me pour guérir to heal les cœurs brisés, the broken hearted, les cœurs blessés, the hurt, les cœurs malades, hearts that are sick, les cœurs mauvais, evil hearts. Une des choses one que la th- puissance de Dieu fait, one of the things that the power of God does, nous sommes tous là tonight we're pour here. le revêtement surnaturel we, de puissance. We are here for supernatural Gloire à Dieu. Glory to God. Et la puissance de Dieu that the power of God, quand elle vient vivre en nous. When the spirit of God comes to live in us. seulement à l'extérieur. The power of God doesn't come to work externally only, but it works inside us. La puissance de Dieu. The power of God. Le Saint Esprit. The Holy Ghost. Dans sa puissance. In his power. Transforme le cœur de l'homme. Transforms the heart of man. Le cœur de l'homme. He impacts the heart of Quelqu'un man. Quelqu'un dit amen. Can someone say amen? Pourquoi? Why? Pourquoi Jésus dit il m'a oint pour guérir les cœurs brisés? Why did Jesus say he has sent me to heal the broken Parce que le plus grand problème de l'homme. Because the greatest problem of man. Le plus grand problème de l'homme. The pr- greatest problem of man. C'est son cœur. Is his heart. Notre plus grand problème. Our greatest c'est problem. C'est pas Satan. It's not Satan. C'est nous-mêmes. It is ourselves. Ce sont nos cœurs. It is our hearts. Mon cœur. Our hearts. Est l'objet de bombardement. The heart is the is the object of a lot of bombardment Des attaques. attacks. Des attaques sataniques. Mm, of satanic attacks. Le cœur. The, the heart. Est l'objet. Is the target. D'une guerre. Is the heart. Entre la lumière mm. et les ténèbres. The heart is the object of the war between light and Dans darkness. Dans Jérémie 17. In Jeremiah chapter verset 9, 17 verse 9. Dieu dit. Jeremiah 17 Le 19, cœur de l'homme est trompeur. The Bible says the heart of man is wicked. Le cœur de l'homme est trompeur par-dessus tout. Mm, it's wicked above all things. Et il est désespérément méchant, and mauvais. Is desperately wicked. Who can know it? Qui peut connaître le cœur? Who can know it? Depuis la chute de Adam. Mm, from the fall of Adam. Le cœur de l'homme est complexe. Man's heart has been Dieu been dit complex. que le cœur de l'homme est malade. God says the heart Dieu of man dit que le cœur de l'homme est mauvais. God says man's heart is Dieu evil. dit que le cœur de l'homme a besoin d'être guéri. God says man's heart Dieu needs dit to be que healed. le cœur de l'homme a besoin d'être transformé. God says man's heart must be transformed. Satan est le spécialiste de mauvaises semences dans le cœur des hommes. Satan is specialist in sowing evil seeds in the heart. Il plante les semences he sows seeds dans nos cœurs. In our hearts. Jésus a dit dans Matthieu 13. Jesus said in Matthew 13. Pendant que les gens dormaient, says, While men slept, l'ennemi est venu. The enemy came, et il a planté and he sowed, l'ivraie. He sowed, il a planté l'ivraie. He sowed tares. Et une des manières de planter l'ivraie. One of the ways of sowing tares, Il plante le mal. He sows evil dans nos cœurs. In our hearts. Il plante des mauvaises semences he sows evil seeds dans le cœur des hommes. In the hearts of men. Quelqu'un dit Amen et Can je continue. Can someone say Amen? Dans Marc 7, in Mark 7, verset 20, Mark 7, 20, Jésus nous dit, Jesus ce says, qui sort de l'homme, he says, what comes out of man, c'est ce qui souille l'homme, it's that which defiles him. Ce qui empoisonne l'homme, that's what poisons him. Ce qui empoisonne l'homme, that's what poisons man. Jésus dit, les hommes sont empoisonnés. Jesus says, men are poisoned. Les hommes sont malades. Men are sick. À cause de ce qui est à l'intérieur de leur cœur. Because of what is in their hearts. Il dit au verset 21. He says in verse 21. C'est du dedans. He says from within. C'est du cœur des hommes. Out of the heart of men. Que sortent. Proceed. Les mauvaises pensées. Evil thoughts. Les adultères. Adulteries. Immoralité. Fornications. Les meurtres. Murders. Les vols. Thefts, cupidité, covetousness, méchanceté, wickedness, tromperie, mensonge, deceit, lasciviousness, les calomnies, an evil eye, les calomnies, mm-hmm. proud, l'orgueil, blasphemy, 
Il dit toutes ces choses He says, All these things, viennent du cœur des hommes. They come from the heart of Notre man. plus grand problème, our greatest problem, ce sont nos cœurs. It's our hearts. Can, can, dit amen. can someone say amen? Voilà pourquoi on a vu hier matin. That's why yesterday que morning, nous a dit dans Proverbe 4, verset 23. God God told us le in cœur. Proverbs 4, 21, faut keep protéger your heart. le cœur. Guard your heart. Il faut surveiller le cœur. You need to guard your heart. Car c'est de lui que vient toute la vie. Because out of it are the issues of life. La vie d'un homme. The life of a man. Dépend de ce qu'il y a dans son cœur. Depends on what is in his ce heart. Ce qu'il y a dans le cœur. What's in the heart. Détermine ce que tu feras. Is what determines ce what you will do. Ce qui est dans le cœur. What's in the heart. Détermine ma manière de penser. Determines how I think. Donc quand Satan veut détruire quelqu'un. So when Satan wants to destroy someone. Il sème les mauvaises semences. He begins to sow evil seeds. Dans le cœur d'un homme. In the heart of the person. Et puis après je ferai naturellement. And immediately ce automatically qui est dans the mon person cœur. would do what is in his heart. Quelqu'un dit Amen. Someone say Amen. D'où viennent les jalousies? Where do jealous, where does jealousy come envies? from? Where does envy come from? D'où vient l'amertume? Where does bitterness come bitterness, from? Bitterness, jalousie, mm -hmm. envie, mm -hmm. aigreur, mm -hmm. méchanceté, wickedness. wickedness. Ça vient d'où? Where do all these things come from? Today, mm, we see a pastor. On voit un pasteur. Jaloux. Il est jaloux. D'un autre pasteur. He's jealous of another a pastor. pastor. We see a pastor. A man of God. A man of God. Jealous. Jealous. After another man of God. <laughs> Then on did you? Un, un frère. We see a brother. Une sœur. We see a sister. Critiqué. Who is criticized? Calomnié. Who is blasphemed? Un autre frère. Who is backbitten? Pour lequel Jésus est mort. For she's back Ça vient d'où? Where do all these things come from? Le cœur. These things come from the heart. Le cœur est malade. The heart is sick. Quelqu'un dit amen. Someone say amen. Quelqu'un dit amen. Someone say amen. Le plus grand problème dans l'église aujourd'hui. The greatest problem in the church today. Ce n'est pas le manque d'onction. It's not the lack of the anointing. Même quand il y a la puissance. Even when there's power. Même quand il y a la grâce. When there is grace. Le problème c'est les cœurs. The problem is the heart. Quelqu'un dit amen. Someone say amen. Et Dieu veut Dieu veut guérir les cœurs. And God wants to heal the heart. Entre nous ici. Nous just, sommes frères et sœurs. Just among us who are brothers and sisters. Mais quel est l'état de ton cœur? What is the state of your heart? Par rapport aux frères, par rapport aux sœurs. Concerning a brother or sister. Par rapport au pasteur. Concerning your pastor. Quel est l'état de ton cœur? What is the state of your heart? Le problème, ce sont nos cœurs. The problem is our heart. La heart's. colère. Anger. Parmi nous. Among les us, semences que Satan a plantées dans les cœurs. Satan is able to sow seeds. plantées même avant que je sois né. Even before we were born. Certains nous ont des problèmes avec la colère. Some of us have anger Dans issues. la lignée familiale. In our family line, we have anger issues. We have a problem with anger. On a un problème avec Dans la colère. Dans certains cas. So in certain la cases, jalousie. We see jealousy. La méchanceté. We see wickedness. Nos pays sont remplis de méchanceté. Our countries are filled with wickedness. De mensonges. Lies. Je veux voir Francis. Mm. I want, to, Francis, I want to see Francis parce qu'il a un un t-shirt jaune because he has a yellow t-shirt I don't like you je l'aime pas why pourquoi I don't know I just don't like you je ne sais pas you are a child of God I don't care I don't like you tu es enfant de Dieu mais je t'aime pas pourquoi your heart is wicked ton cœur est méchant le problème c'est le cœur the problem is the heart le problème c'est le cœur the problem is the heart les pasteurs se font la guerre pastors are fighting among themselves à cause du cœur because of the heart l'église a des problèmes à cause du cœur. The church has a problem because of the heart. Jésus dit, l'esprit du Seigneur est sur moi. Jesus said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Il m'a envoyé pour amener la bonne nouvelle. He has sent me to preach the gospel. Et automatiquement, il dit qu'il m'a envoyé pour guérir les cœurs malades. And right after he says he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Quelqu'un dit amen. Someone say amen. Dans l'Ancien Testament, in the Old Testament, il est écrit dans Psaume 24. The Bible says in Psalm 24, verset 3. Verse 3. Qui pourra monter? Who can ascend à la montagne de l'Éternel Qui peut monter Who can ascend Qui peut se tenir Who can stay dans la there? présence de Yahweh Who can stay in the presence Qui peut of the Lord? se tenir devant Dieu Who can stand in the presence Qui of peut God? célébrer Dieu Who can celebrate God Aujourd'hui Today Tout le monde prie Everybody prays Tout le monde chante Everybody sings Mais nous oublions une chose But we forget one thing Dieu regarde les cœurs God looks at the heart Avec lesquels nous venons devant Dieu It's with the heart that we come before God Tout le monde prie Everybody prays Une heure de prière One hour Deux heures de prière Two hours Five hours Cinq heures We pray On prie We pray On prie 
But we forget one thing. Mais on oublie quelque chose. God is concerned Dieu by the quality of our heart. À la qualité de When notre we stand in quand, His majesty quand on se tient devant lui, He dit qui pourra ascendre? He says who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? Qui pourra monter à la montagne de Dieu? Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? Qui pourra se tenir devant Yahweh? Who can stand before Yahweh? Qui pourra parler à Dieu? Who, who can speak to Him? Il dit celui qui a les mains innocentes. He says he who has clean hands. Mais il dit celui qui a un cœur pur. And then he says he who has a pure heart. Le cœur pur. A pure heart. Un cœur vrai. A true heart. Un cœur sincère. A sincere heart. Un cœur honnête. An honest heart. Quelqu'un dit amen. Someone say amen. On prie mais avec quel genre de cœur? We are praying but with what kind of heart? Quel genre de cœur? What kind of heart? Je bénis Dieu. I bless the Lord. Pour la vie de cet homme de Dieu, l'archevêque. I bless God for the life of this man of God. Moi je ne flatte pas les gens. I don't flatter people. Me, I don't flatter people. Mm, moi, je ne flatte pas les I'm gens. sincere. Je suis sincère. I don't envy anybody. Mm, je n'envie per I personne. I don't envy anybody. J'envie personne. But I admire the grace. Mais j'admire la grâce. On people. Sur les gens. When I see the archevêque. Quand j'ai vu l'archevêque. In fact, ce qui m'a attiré à lui, c'est son cœur. In fact, what drew me to him is his yeah. heart. Yeah. C'est le cœur. Mm, it's his heart. La simplicité du cœur. The simplicity of his heart. La vérité d'un cœur. The truthfulness of his heart. Ce qui me repousse c'est le mauvais cœur. What repels me is evil hearts. Quelqu'un dit amen. Someone say amen. Vous comprenez pourquoi David, David était conscient qu'on a tous besoin de avoir nos cœurs transformés. That's why David was conscious that we all need a transformed heart. Quand tu n'étais pas sauvé, quand tu ne connaissais pas Dieu, If, when you were not saved, when you didn't know God, ton cœur était déjà malade. Your heart was already sick. Nous tous, nous étions malades. All of us we were sick. À cause du péché. Because of sin. Mais quand le Saint Esprit vient en nous, but when the Holy Ghost comes in us, il vient toucher nos cœurs. He cœur. comes to touch our Changer hearts. Changer nos cœurs. He cœur. comes to change our hearts. Transformer nos cœurs. He comes cœur. to transform il our hearts. Il veut travailler. And he wants to work. Certains c'est la colère. Some of us it's anger. D'autres c'est la débauche. Some of us it's immorality. D'autres c'est l'impureté. Some of us it's impurity. D'autres c'est le mensonge. Some of us it's lies. D'autres c'est la jalousie. It's jealousy. Donc c'est bitterness, l'amertume. C'est l'amertume. Quand le Saint Esprit vient, But when the Holy Ghost comes, il veut pou, 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 pou. He wants to work transformer on the heart. ton cœur. He wants to transform your heart. Et pour le faire, mm. and in order to do that, il faut que tu sois humble. You need to humble pour yourself. Pour dire à Dieu, oh Dieu, you need to say to God, I have a problem. J'ai un problème. J'ai un problème. I have a problem. I need you to change my heart. J'ai besoin que tu changes mon cœur. I coeur. want to be changed. J'aimerais être changé. Because I want to please you. Parce que je veux te plaire. But I have a problem. Mais j'ai un problème. With jealousy. Un problème avec la With jalousie. Anger. Avec la colère. With hatred. Avec la haine. I need mercy. J'ai besoin de la miséricorde. I need your, your help. J'ai besoin de ton aide. Change my heart. Change mon cœur. This is my cry. C'est mon cri, Seigneur. Voilà pourquoi David a dit, Oh Dieu. That's why David said, Oh God. Quand Dieu l'a trouvé avec Bathsheba, When God found David with Bathsheba il n'a pas dit non, c'est pas moi. David didn't say no, il a dit oh me. Dieu, But he said, crée en moi he said, God un cœur pur, a clean heart. Ça c'est pas des prières qu'on fait de nos jours. This is not the type of prayer we do in our days. We don't like to pray this way anymore. On n'aime pas faire ces genres de prières. We want the power. On veut la puissance. We say yes. On dit oui. Then this power, Mais cette puissance, when it comes, quand cette it puissance vient, me, ça, me, change, me. ça me change. It makes me a better man. Ça, ça fait de moi quelqu'un de meilleur. Quelqu'un avec un cœur pur. With a sincere heart. Avec un cœur sincère. I have found out. J'ai trouvé that the power of God que la puissance de Dieu coule facilement in the pure heart, dans un cœur pur, dans un cœur qui in the aime, humble heart. dans un cœur humble. Quelqu'un peut dire Amen. Somebody say Amen. Oh, Quelqu'un peut dire Amen. Jacques 4, James 4 verset 8. Verse 8. Il est écrit Approchez-vous de Dieu. Approchez-vous. Et il s'approchera de vous. And he will draw near to you. Nettoyez vos mains. Cleanse your hands. Pêcheurs. You sinners. Purifiez vos cœurs. Purify your hearts. Il dit quand tu t'approches de Dieu. He says when you are drawing near to God. Seigneur Dieu. Say, Lord, je me tiens devant toi. Lord, I come before Il dit viens purifier ton cœur. He says come and have you your need heart your heart to be purified. Il faut to que be ton cœur soit purifié. To be changed. Transformé. To be changé. Somebody say amen. 
Quelqu'un peut dire Amen. Nos problèmes dans tous nos pays, ce sont les cœurs de nos frères, de nos sœurs. Our problem in all our countries is the problem. Le problème au Ghana, is our hearts. Comme dans le reste de l'Afrique. Mm, the problem in Ce n'est pas qu'il n'y a pas des gens compétents. It's not because we don't have skilled people here. Il y a des gens compétents. We have very skilled people. Il y a des gens smart, we, intelligent. We have very intelligent people. But you can be smart. But mais on you can be brilliant. Intelligent. With a wicked heart. Avec un cœur méchant. With a twisted heart. Avec un cœur mauvais. Intelligent, mais méchant. Intelligent but wicked. Intelligent mais menteur. Intelligent but a liar. Compétent mais voleur. Skilled but a thief. Somebody say I. Ah, quelqu'un peut dire I. Somebody say I. Quelqu'un dit I. Lord have mercy. Ah, Dieu a miséricorde. Il dit approchez-vous de Dieu. He says, Et draw Dieu s'approchera de vous. And God will draw near to you. Purifiez vos cœurs. He says cleanse your hearts. Cleanse your heart. Ask God Demande à Dieu de purifier vos cœurs. To purify your heart. Il dit vous qui avez le cœur partagé. He says you double-minded. Il dit sentez votre misère. He says be afflicted. Sentez votre misère. Be afflicted. Soyez dans le deuil. Mourn. Dans les larmes. Weep. Que votre rire se change en deuil. Let your laughter be turned to Que mourning. votre joie se change en tristesse. And your joy to heaviness. He says, humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord. Pourquoi? Why? Parce que le cœur doit être transformé. Because the heart must be transformed. Le cœur doit être changé. The heart must be changed. Toutes les fois que every Dieu time, me montre quelque chose dans mon cœur, every time God shows me something in my heart, attention, là, he, tu as menti. Deux, trois fois, tu as menti. He says to me, dit, ah, hey, hey, Seigneur, pardonne-moi. And I say, pardonne God, forgive me. Tu dis, Seigneur, mm. do not only forgive me. Uh, ne but, me pardonne pas seulement change me. Mais change mon cœur I refuse to be forgiven Je only. refuse d'être no. pardonné If you have to forgive me, oh God, Si tu dois me pardonner Seigneur mm, C'est pas enough me and Il me suffit pas D'être pardonné change Transforme ma vie I Change want to ma please vie God. Je veux te plaire Seigneur We were born to please Yahweh. On est né pour plaire à Dieu We were born to rejoice his heart. On est né pour se réjouir dans son cœur Quelqu'un dit Amen Can someone say amen? Mais sometimes, quand il faut changer ton cœur, sometimes when you need to change c'est pas des temps où on fait des prières avec joie. That's not the time we pray. C'est des temps où on gladly. vient crier à Dieu. We come and we cry. On dit Seigneur, we say God, je t'aime. Lord, I love you. Mais j'ai des problèmes dans mon cœur. But I have issues in my heart. Avec l'impudicité. I have issues with impurity. Avec le mensonge. Avec with Please, lies. Lord, don't let me the way I am. Oh, ne me laisse pas comme Change je suis. Change mon cœur. Change my heart. And you can pray for two hours, just for God to change your heart. On peut prier pendant deux heures afin que Dieu change votre cœur. Quelqu'un dit Amen. Can someone say Amen? Est-ce que quelqu'un comprend de quoi je parle? Can some, does someone understand what I'm talking about? Mon frère, ma soeur, Brothers c'est dangereux. It is very dangerous. C'est dangereux. It's dangerous. De ne pas demander à Dieu It's dangerous de transformer ton cœur to, to afin heart. qu'il soit un cœur for your heart to be c'est pure dangereux heart. it's very dangerous pour se tenir devant dieu to stand before il faut God. un cœur pur Without having un cœur honnête we need a, an un cœur vrai we need a true heart. et c'est très dangereux it's very dangerous de ne pas demander à Dieu not to ask God de changer ton cœur to change your heart. c'est ta responsabilité it's your duty. ce n'est pas la responsabilité du pasteur seul it's not the pa- the pastor's c'est nous tous all of us. chacun de nous Each of us. doit dire à Dieu we need to say oh to Dieu God, oh God, change mon cœur ne me laisse pas comme je suis don't leave me as I am je suis né pour te plaire. Lord, I've been born to please you. Je ne suis pas né pour être bitter, amer. I, I was not born to be bitter. Je suis né pour faire la joie de Dieu. I was born to bring joy to If God. you cannot change my heart, make me die. Si tu ne peux pas changer mon cœur, que you. je meurs, Seigneur. De nos jours. In our days, nous sommes tellement habitués à pécher mm, we are so used to sin, que des fois nous ne comprenons pas que certains péchés, certains drames auraient pu être évités. Certains drames, mm, certain things, certains drames, drames, drames. Drame. Comme drama, les, okay. les, ouais, okay. drama. Certain drama, certain drama could have been avoided. Mm-hmm. In your life, in dans my votre life, vie, dans ma if vie, only, si seulement, tu étais venu devant Dieu, you had come before God, 
to ask God mm. one, demander, one night, mm. une nuit, pour dire Seigneur change-moi. To say Lord change me. Les trois mois, les trois premiers mois de ma conversion à Jésus. The first three months of my conversion to Christ. En 1994. In 1994. J'étais comme tout le monde débauché, impudique. I was immoral. J'aimais les femmes. I was a womanizer. I was chasing every woman. <laughs> I was chasing every woman in the street. <laughs> And when I gave my life to Christ, Mais quand donné ma vie à Christ I remember je me souviens, I heard that this no, this no c'était pas bon, c'était mauvais. I heard it's not it was wrong. I told God but I cannot change. Mais dit à Dieu, je peux pas me changer moi-même. I'm a man, I love too much women, I cannot change. Je suis un homme, j'aime beaucoup les femmes. Unless you je peux pas me changer moi-même. Powers me à moins que toi into seul, holiness. Tu me you give me the grace to hate tu me sin. Donnes la grâce At le that péché. time, I spent one night. À ce moment-là, j'ai passé une nuit pour prier. In 1994. In dans 1994, j'ai prié une nuit, to say, oh God, juste pour dire Seigneur, fais-moi haïr le péché. Lord, cause me to hate sin. Cause me to hate sin. Fais-moi haïr le of péché. Of immorality, mm, because la... I like it all too much. Parce que j'aime bien le péché. I was sincere. J'étais sincère. I said, if you don't help me, si dit, there is no way for me to change. Si tu m'aides pas, je ne peux pas changer. But I want to you. Mais je veux te plaire. I was a newborn Christian. J'étais un nouveau né. Et depuis deux, depuis 94. And since 94, the Lord has granted me grace. Le, le Seigneur m'a fait grâce. I hate. J'ai. I hate. Je hais. With all my heart. Avec tout mon cœur. Immorality. Mon coeur, L'immoralité. I don't condemn people. Mm, je condamne pas les but gens. But in my heart. Mais dans mon cœur. The Lord has done something. Le Seigneur a fait quelque chose. Through this. Il a fait des choses dans mon cœur. I say amen for myself. No ah, problem. Amen pour moi-même. C'est un grand danger de ne pas avoir un cœur restauré, de ne pas avoir un cœur transformé. It's a very dangerous thing not to have a transformed heart. Vous connaissez l'histoire de Anania and Sapphira? We know the story of Ananias and Sapphira. Do you know why Ananias and Sapphira did die? Vous savez pourquoi Ananias et Sapphira? Who knows why they die? Qui connaît pourquoi? Acts chapter 5. Acts chapter 5. La Bible dit qu'on n'a pas le temps d'expliquer. Anania et Sapphira sont morts. The Bible says, Ils sont morts died. in church. They died in church. They died in church. Ils sont morts à l'église. They came to worship. Ils sont venus adorer. At Perez Chapel International. À Perez Chapel. Oh. À Perez Chapel. Why they were worshiping? Mais lorsqu'ils adoraient, the archbishop called them. L'archevêque les appelait. Because they were making offering. Parce qu'ils venaient avec leurs offrandes. Et ce, ils étaient menteurs. And they were liars. Le monsieur Marie and woman. Sorry. Husband and, uh, husband and wife. Le mari et sa femme. C'était des menteurs. They were liars. Ils avaient le mensonge dans le cœur. They had lies in Ils étaient hearts. habitués à mentir. They were used to lying. Ils étaient habitués à mentir à l'église. They, they were used to lying in church. Mentir dans les affaires. Lying in business. C'était des menteurs. These were liars. Le mensonge vient du cœur. Lies come from the heart. Quelqu'un dit amen. Someone say amen. Le mensonge venu. These guys came. Comme ils sont habitués à mentir. Since they were used to lying. Ils sont habitués à mentir. Mm, they were used to Ce jour-là, ils n'ont même pas fait attention. So that they didn't even qu'ils étaient à l'église. That they were in church. Ils sont venus devant l'homme de Dieu Pierre. They came before Peter the man of God. Et comme le mensonge était dans le cœur. And because lying et que le was mensonge n'est pas un million. And they said, oh, we sold it for a million. Alors que la valeur réelle c'était peut-être 2 millions. Even though the value of the land was about ils 2 million. Ils ont menti. They lied. Pierre a dit avant. Uh, Peter said. Il dit Anania. Ah. Dans acte 5 verset 3. Acts 5 3. Anania. Pourquoi Satan a-t-il rempli why, ton cœur? Why has Satan filled your heart? Rempli quoi? Filled what? Rempli quoi? Filled okay. what? Comment Satan a-t-il rempli ton cœur? Why has Satan filled Ananias. your heart? Ananias. Ton problème c'est ton cœur. Your problem is your heart. Pourquoi tu n'as pas demandé à Dieu de te délivrer du mensonge? Why didn't you ask God to deliver tu you from lies? You mens dans le monde. You lie to the world. Tu mens dans tes affaires. You lie in your business. Tu mens dans ta famille. You lie in your family. Et tu viens mentir devant And Yahweh. You're coming to lie in Ananias. church. Ananias. Comment n'as-tu pas eu peur? Ah, why were you not afraid? De mentir dans la présence de Dieu. To lie in the presence of God. Ananias. Ananias. Ce n'est 
pas à des hommes que tu as menti. You didn't lie to men. C'est à Dieu. You lied to God. À l'instant même, Ananias. At that same time, Ananias died. Die. Pourquoi il est mort? Why did he die? À cause du mensonge. Because of lies. Un cœur qui ment tout le temps. A heart that is filled with lies. Est-ce que tu sais qu'un cœur qui ment tout le temps peut emmener à la mort? Do you know that a heart that leads to lies can lead to death? Et puis après on va dire dans cette église là-bas. Cette église là-bas, <laughs> les gens meurent. Uh, and people will say, ah, in uh, that church, people are just dying. Don't go anymore to Perez. <laughs> people are dying in church. Les pas pleurent à Perez parce que This les gens meurent. This is a strange meurent. church. Ah, dans cette église, les choses bizarres se passent. Strange things are happening in les this church. Bizarre, they produit. die because they lie Mais in the presence of Yahweh. Mais ils meurent parce qu'ils montent dans la présence de Yahweh. Le cœur. Mm, the heart. Quelqu'un dit Amen. Uh, somebody say Amen. Let me finish. Dans deux chroniques, Second Chronicles, chapitre 26, 26, on parle du roi Ozia. We speak of King Uzia, un roi merveilleux. A marvelous king. Il a pris le pouvoir à l'âge de 16 ans. At 16 years old, he came to the à deux chroniques 26. Second Chronicles 26. Il avait 16 ans lorsqu'il devient roi. He La Bible dit au verset 4. In verse 4 le roi Ozias. Il Uzia, fit ce qui était droit aux yeux de l'Éternel. Right entièrement. Fully. Comme l'avait fait son père Amasia. According to all that his father Amasia Au verset 5, on dit qu'il avait un cœur qui cherchait Dieu. Verse 5, and he sought God. Ozia aimait Dieu. Ozia loved God. C'était un bon roi. He was a good king. Il s'attachait à Dieu. He was hooked Il to God. Il recherchait Dieu. He was seeking God. Il voulait plaire à Dieu. He wanted to please God. Et la Bible dit dans le temps où il recherchait Dieu. But the Bible says when Dieu he sought God. Dieu le fit prospérer. God prospered him. Il a bien commencé. He began well. Il a bien commencé. He began very well. Il cherchait Dieu. Helps those who seek Avec un cœur sincère. With a sincere heart. Et la Bible dit. The Bible says. Au verset 8. In the verse 8. Sa renommée s'étendit. The Bible says, and his name spread abroad. Jusqu'aux frontières de l'Égypte. Even to the entering in of Egypt. Parce qu'il devient Puissant. For he strengthened himself exceedingly. Très puissant. He became very strong. Ozaya Uzia est devenu très puissant. He became very powerful. Parce que Dieu le soutenait. Because God was Parce que Dieu était avec lui. Because God was with him. Et au verset 15. The Bible says in 15, on verse 15, in the verse 15, que sa renommée. The Bible says his elle name. encore étendue. Spread far abroad. On appelle ça glow, going from glory to glory. On appelle ça de gloire en gloire. La renommée ne faisait que s'étendre. His, his name was Partout, spreading abroad everywhere. Everywhere people were talking about Il him. Était célèbre. He was a celebrity. Il était connu. He was very known. Il était puissant. He was very powerful. Il avait une grande armée. He had a very great army. Une armée moderne. A very modern army. Avec les équipements de dernier cri. With new technology, new une armor. armée puissante. A very powerful army. Une armée riche. A very rich army. Ozia. Uzia. Le roi Ozias, the king Uzia, un grand bâtisseur, a very great builder. Il développait son pays. He was really bringing development to his Il country. Il bâtissait les villes. He was building the city. Il avait un bon cœur. He had a good heart. Il travaillait. He was working. Mon frère, ma soeur, brothers and sisters, avoir un bon cœur aujourd'hui, having a good heart today, ne veut pas dire does not guarantee que ton cœur va rester bon demain. That your heart will remain oh as non. it is. Le cœur peut changer à tout moment. Your heart can change at any point in time. Et lui, Ozia, and so Uzia, il faisait des grands travaux partout en Israël. He was doing amazing things all over Israel. C'était un grand agriculteur. He was a great agriculturist. Un grand fermier. He was a great agriculturist. Un grand homme. He was a great man. Tout le monde venait lui faire des présents. Everybody was bringing him gifts. Le roi Ozia, King Uzia. La Bible dit au verset 16. The Bible says in verse 16. Sa renommée s'est tendue au loin. That his, au verset 15. In verse 15 his name car spread il fut abroad merveilleusement soutenu. Jusqu'à ce qu'il devint puissant. Till he was strong. Mon frère, ma soeur, Dieu soutient les hommes. Uh, brothers and sisters, God helps men. Mais il y a des hommes dont il est dit. But there are men que Dieu l'a soutenu merveilleusement. But there are men about whom it is said God greatly helped them. Greatly supported by God. Ils étaient vraiment soutenus par Dieu. Greatly assisted by God. Vraiment soutenus par Dieu. In his business. Dans son dans ses affaires. In his ministry. Dans son ministère. In his family. Dans sa famille. In his career. Dans sa carrière. He was greatly supported. Il était vraiment soutenu. Somebody say amen. Quelqu'un peut dire amen. Quelqu'un dit amen. Someone say amen. Mais. La Bible dit mais. But. But. Verset 16. Verse Lorsqu'il fut pu 
puissant. Verse 16, when he was strong, son cœur s'éleva. His heart was lifted up. Jusqu'à le perdre. To his destruction. Son cœur s'éleva. His heart was lifted up. Vous voyez, ce n'est pas tout d'avoir l'onction. Mm. It's not we need the anointing. On a besoin de l'onction. We need the power of the Holy Ghost. On a Ghost besoin de la puissance du Saint-Esprit. To do the works of God. Pour faire les œuvres de Dieu. To deliver the people. Pour délivrer les gens. To do good to people. To pour to faire bless the people. Pour bénir we les need gens. The power. On a besoin de la puissance. But that power. Mais cette puissance that là. That is moving through us. Qui œuvre à travers nous. We need nous. the same power. On a besoin de cette même that puissance. Work. We need it to work in ourselves. Qui va œuvrer dans nos cœurs. So cœur. that we will be maintain humble afin qu'on puisse humble. rester humble the more god is lifting you up plus the dieu te lève plus on a besoin de l'humilité le plus dieu nous utilise le plus nous sommes exposés the more god les applaudissements des hommes mm. By men's applause. Les flatteries des hommes. Men's flatteries. Les cadeaux des hommes. Men's gifts. Gloire à Dieu. Oh, glory to God. Mais c'est un piège. But some of these things can si be traps. ton cœur n'est pas préparé, n'est pas transformé, it's not transformed. ça peut te tuer. This can kill you. Ozias, Uzia. le roi Ozias, King Uzia. il avait bien commencé, he began very well. mais il a mal fini. But he didn't finish well. Il est rentré dans le temple, he entered into the temple pour offrir des parfums. To offer incense. Ozia, c'est pas ton travail. But King Ozia, that's not your you work. You are powerful. <laughs> tu es puissant. But stay in your corner. Mais reste dans ton coin. Stay in your core. Reste dans ton coin. Stay in your limit. Reste dans tes limites. You are not supposed to do everything. Parce que tu peux pas tout faire. Ozia. Mm, Ozia. And when the sacrificateur, and when the high priest came, dit, when the priest came, mais tu ne peux pas faire ça. And the priest said, Uzziah, you can't do this. Uzziah was left. I am the king. I am the king. Le roi, le Everybody worship me. Mm. I am the man of great work. Mm. I am the man of richesse. the great anointing. An anointing. Sometimes, des fois, mon frère, ma soeur, mm, brothers and sisters, we need to remain humble. On a besoin de rester hey. humble. <laughs> Parce que des fois, Parce que des, quand Dieu nous élève tellement, sometimes when God lifts us up, qu'on n'est pas ouvert aux remarques, and, and we are not open to people's comments, c'est terrible hein, d'être fermé aux commentaires, aux yeah. remarques, aux critiques. It, it, it's very difficult to shut out people's comments. Si quelqu'un me suit, dit Amen. If you are following me, say Amen. Et alors qu'il était dans le temple, while he was in the temple, dès qu'on lui a fait la remarque, when they commented to him, tu n'as pas le droit. They said you don't have the right. Il s'est fâché. Uzziah was angry. Et quand il s'est fâché, and when he got angry, la Bible dit, Bible says, la lèpre, leprosy, est apparue sur son visage. Leprosy il a été frappé. He was stricken dans la maison de Dieu, in the house of God, dans l'église, in the church. Je l'a frappé, God, struck de la lèpre, with leprosy, et il est sorti. And he went back. He et la Bible dit, the Bible says, au verset 21, in verse 21, le roi Ozias, King Uzia, fut lépreux, was a leper, jusqu'au jour de sa mort, unto the day of his death. Oh Ozias, oh King Uzia, what happened to you? Ah, qu'est-ce qui t'est arrivé? You started well. Ah, t'as bien commencé. You were a good king. T'étais un bon roi. Why didn't you didn't guard your heart? Mais t'as pas gardé ton cœur. Pourquoi tu n'as pas gardé ton mm. cœur? Why didn't you ca- keep your heart? Il fallait faire comme David. You needed to be like David. Il fallait dire oh Dieu. Oh, you had to have said like David. Alors oh God. Alors que tu m'élèves. Lord, as you are lifting me up. Donne-moi un cœur humble. Lord, give me a humble heart. This is not a one minute prayer. C'est pas une prière This is a one hour, two hour prayer. C'est une prière de une heure, deux heures. Oh God! Oh Seigneur! Give me a humble heart. Donne-moi un cœur. As you are lifting me up. Lorsque tu m'élèves. Give me a humble heart. Donne-moi un cœur. Transform my heart. Oh Seigneur! Don't let me become arrogant. Oh, ne me laisse so pas arrogant, devenir arrogant. That I would destroy myself. Afin que je me détruise Help moi-même. Me, oh, God. oh, aide-moi, Seigneur. Don't let me down. Oh, ne me laisse pas comme ça. King Ozias. Le roi Ozias. Was fire for the throne. Mm, il a été fire for the throne. De, du he throne. became leper. Il était he lépreux. died as a leper. Il est mort comme and he was fired for the throne. Il a été démissionné par he Dieu. started well. Il a bien commencé. He finished badly. Mais il a mal Why? Ah, pourquoi? His heart. À cause de son cœur. Guard your heart. Gardez votre cœur. Pastors, ministers, 
Leader, we all want God to use us. On veut que Dieu nous utilise. How do you know? Mais comment tu sais? If you don't guard your heart, how do you know that mm. you will stand? Mm. Si tu ne gardes pas ton cœur, comment tu sais que tu vas rester debout? On a vu hier matin. Yesterday morning we saw que Elie, le prophète, that Elijah the prophet, he left uh, his uh, office. Mm. He was depressed. Il a laissé you son know why? office. Mm. Because fear il est, came in his heart. Il était déprimé à cause de la peur dans son cœur. Pour protéger ton cœur. You need to protect your heart. Que Dieu nous aide. Ah, may God help us. Que Dieu nous aide. May God help us. May God help us. Que Dieu nous aide. Our greatest need today is our heart. Mm. Personne, nobody else can change a heart of a man except God himself. Personne ne peut changer nobody, le cœur d'un homme à part Dieu lui-même. Nobody can Personne. change a heart of a man Personne. except God's Personne ne peut changer son cœur lui-même à part la puissance. C'est le secret de la longévité dans le ministère. Many have start well. Beaucoup ont bien commencé. Many have finished bad. Mais beaucoup ont mal fini. Why? Pourquoi? They did not guard their heart. Ils n'ont pas gardé leur cœur. Today, aujourd'hui, je vois beaucoup d'hommes de Dieu. I see many men of God. Beaucoup de frères. Be- many brothers élevés par Dieu. Lifted by God. Dans le monde des affaires. Ah, in the business de la world, politique. In politics. Je bénis Dieu. I bless God pour notre frère honorable. For our honorable minister I was proud here. of him. Ah, j'étais fier de lui. Yes. Yeah. Because we can, you can perceive Parce que on the pe- people on pe- percevoir that are standing que les gens qui se tiennent watching their own heart. Mm. Garde leur cœur. Your greatest danger mm. Le is plus your grand heart. danger dans ta vie, your c'est... greatest asset mm-hmm. is your heart. Et le plus grand asset, Avant... mm-hmm. c'est ton avantage, cœur. avantage, c'est votre cœur. And danger mm. is your heart. Quelqu'un dit amen. Someone say amen. Quelqu'un dit amen. Someone say amen. Can you bow your head? Mm. Baissez vos têtes. Purifie mon cœur. En oh, moi aussi pur. Que l'or et l'argent purifie mon cœur, en moi aussi pur. Que l'or purifie mon cœur. Juste pendant quelques instants. Can you bow your head? Can you bow your head? Versez vos têtes. Et demandez à Dieu. And ask her. Pouvons-nous, doucement, pouvons-nous, s'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît, pouvons-nous juste vraiment pardonner-moi. Please forgive me. Une minute. Pouvons-nous juste incliner la tête et puis dire à Dieu, Seigneur, can we change-moi. Can we just bow our heads and I say, need Lord, to change. be changed. I need to be changed. Yes, de the power of God will flow. Oui, la puissance de But Dieu va please, couler. Mais don't Seigneur, don't let that power destroy my life. Que cette puissance ne me détruise pas. Don't let the power of the Holy Spirit que, destroy my ministry. Que la puissance du Saint Esprit ne détruise pas mon ministère. Kept my heart, protected my heart. Parce que j'ai pas gardé mon cœur. Peux tu élever ta voix? Can you, Can you raise your voice? voice? Just few seconds. Mm. Oh God, oh God, mm. donne-moi un cœur. Oh God, give me a good Fais-moi heart. grâce. Lord, have mercy. Oh, have mercy. Oh God, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Father God, have mercy. Et miséricorde. Purifie mon cœur. Oh, purify my heart. David a dit, Oh Dieu. David said, Oh God. Transforme mon cœur. Transform my heart. Donne-moi un cœur qui est pur. Give me a pure Je heart. Je te supplie, Père. Lord, I, I beg you. Je veux la puissance de I, l'esprit. I pray, I want pour opérer the power des miracles, des prodiges. I want to perform signs and Mais wonders. Donne-moi un cœur pur. But God, give me a pure heart. Aide-moi. Help Help me. Mon cœur de moi. Lord, help me. Can you pray? On peut prier? Seigneur, aide-nous. Oh Lord, help us. Seigneur, aide-nous. Lord, help us. Seigneur, aide-nous. Lord, help us. Seigneur, aide-nous. Lord, help Have us. mercy. Lord, help Have us. mercy. Oh, have misericorde. Aide-nous. Oh, help us. Help us, oh God. Aide-nous, Seigneur. The church in need oh, like to be transformed in our heart, oh transformé God. Dans nos Always being transformed. Oh, toujours Don't transformed. stop transforming our oh, heart, oh God. Arrête pas de transformer nos cœurs, Seigneur. Nous te prions, Père. Oh, oh we pray we with cry you, Lord. out to you. Oh, nous te prions, Seigneur. Seigneur, aide-nous. Oh, help us, Lord. 
Je crie à toi, oh, 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 my heart, I cry out to you, oh, 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 oh. I cry unto you, oh, for my own heart, oh, God, I cry out unto you, oh. Your hands together for the Lord. Come on, clap your hands and shout for Jesus. Come on, shout, 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 shout. Let's now let's celebrate the apostle for such classic teachings. Put your hands together for him. Oh, are you doing better? Appreciate him for the word that has come. Appreciate him for the parole that is arrived. Our heart is a problem. Notre cœur c'est notre problème. When you are poor, you come to church. When you get rich, you don't come to church. Quand vous êtes pauvre, vous venez à l'église. Quand vous devenez riche, vous ne venez plus à l'église. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to take our offering. Nous voulons prendre nos offrandes. There are God respect offerings. Dieu respecte l'offrande. Genesis 4:4. Genèse 4, 4. God respect offerings. Dieu s'attend à l'offrande. The Bible says God is not a respect of person, but offering God respect it. La Bible déclare que Dieu ne fait acception de personne, mais pour l'offrande, il en fait. Number two, Jesus was watching over the offering. Deuxièmement, Jésus surveillait l'offrande. Number three, they say sowing season. Et numéro trois, c'est une saison pour semer. It's raining now. Il pleut en ce moment. People are sowing. Et les gens sont en train Mais de planter. Everything. Ils plantent différentes mers. You miss season, donc si vous manquez la saison de plantation, you miss your season, donc vous allez manquer la saison de récolte. By, by the grace of God, Mais par la grâce de Dieu, j'ai été ici depuis le premier jour. And during this season, et pendant cette saison, sowing is one of the Times you need to sow so you can open up your ministry life. C'est le moment pour vous de semer afin de vous ouvrir dans votre ministère. If you took any envelope, si vous avez pris, vous avez pris une enveloppe, any pledge, vous avez fait une promesse, any sacrifice, un sacrifice, please walk towards the altar and drop it. Si vous plaît, top, venez vers l'autel. Can you come with that offering? Venez vers l'autel à déposer si vous êtes en, en haut. Si any vous pledge, descendez. any sacrifice. Those are the top, please. Bring it to the altar. Vous avez pris, une, vous avez fait une quickly, promesse quickly, quickly, ou un quickly. sacrifice. Venez déposer sur l'autel. Ceux en haut, descendez. Venez déposer sur l'autel. Yes. Redeem. A lot of people make pledges, but they don't redeem. Il y a des gens qui prennent des promesses, mais don't ils ne les rachètent pas. Don't just enjoy our Father's anointing. Some come to take just the envelope. No, redeem it. Il y a des gens qui viennent juste prendre des enveloppes, mais non, vous devez aussi payer. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Rapidement, faisons-le. Now stop preparing special offering. Tonight. Maintenant commencez à préparer une offrande spéciale ce soir. It's our first seed. C'est notre première semence. And the first seed tonight can open doors for you. Et la première semence ce soir peut ouvrir des portes pour vous. A seed changes your season. La semence change votre saison. A seed brings us to a new season. La semence vous emmène dans une autre, une nouvelle saison. A seed close the old season and open a new season for you. La semence ferme l'ancienne saison et ouvre une nouvelle pour vous. Any time you want to change your future. Et à chaque fois que vous voulez changer votre futur, you change it with a seed. Vous devez changer la semence. Stand on your feet. Levez-vous. Raise that offering. Levez cette offrande. Speak to God. Et parlez à Dieu. Talk to God. Parlez à Dieu. 
Ask God to multiply it and bless it. Demandez à Dieu de multiplier vos bénédictions. Lift up your voice and pray for 30 seconds. Levez vos voix, priez pour 30 secondes. Pray, talk to him. Priez, parlez à Dieu. Talk to him. Parlez à Dieu. Talk to him. Parlez à Dieu. In Jesus name. Au nom de Jésus. Our Father, we have come tonight. Père, nous sommes venus ce soir. With a seed. Avec une offrande. We ask you, Lord. Nous demandons Seigneur. To bless it. Que tu la bénisses. Like the five loaves of bread. Comme les cinq pains. Breathe life on it. Souffle la vie dessus. Multiply it. Multiplie. And open doors for your children. Et ouvre des portes pour tes enfants. We declare this offering blessed. Nous déclarons ces offrandes bénies. In Jesus name. Au nom de Jésus. So we are going to be dancing Donc and coming and dropping our offerings and then the choir will be ministering. Venons en dansant pour poser l'offrande et la chorale va rendre ministère. She calls your power for miracle is nothing. So if you are watching us si vous nous or regardez, listening to us by radio Across all the mobile money platforms, MTN Mobile Money, Vodafone Cash, Airtel Tigo. Sur toutes les plateformes mobile money. Dial star 800 star 1000 hash. Vous pouvez juste taper étoile 800 étoile 1000. You will see the first option Supernatural Empowerment Summit. Vous verrez la première option de semaine Supernatural Empowerment Summit. Dial one and then follow the prompt and give your offering or redeem your seed or your pledges. You can also give our MTN mobile money to 05946 7483 Then you can also give our PayPal and the account name is Perez Dome. The username is at Perez Dome. Le nom d'utilisateur est arroba Perez Dome. And the email is Perez Dome at PerezChapel.org. Et l'email est Perez Dome arroba Perez Dome. Can we have the song ministration as we dance and celebrate Jesus? Prenons le chant de ministère et en dansant et célébrons pour Jésus. You move mountains. You cause the walls to fall. With your power. You perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. And we're standing here only because you made Said you move a mountain there You cause the walls to fall with your power You perform miracles There is nothing that's impossible And now we're standing here only because you You move, as you move a mountain Cause walls to fall with your four miracles. Can we give Jesus a mighty clap offering? So just before the choir ministers to us, please take note of this announcement. Tomorrow night is our last night. Demain soir c'est notre dernière soirée. And Saturday morning we have the business meeting. Et samedi matin nous avons la rencontre des affaires. But tomorrow night is our last night of this conference. Mais demain soir c'est le dernier soir de cette conférence. And our Father. The Archbishop has told us that tomorrow is going to be a dangerous night. I pray that you will never live here the same. If that was your portion, you would have clapped better and you would have shouted an amen.
and our father the archbishop has declared that tomorrow night is a night of impartation Il a déclaré notre papa que demain c'est une soirée d'impact, so de transfert. Here, you don't want to miss tomorrow night. Donc si vous êtes ici, ne manquez pas demain. And you don't also want to come alone tomorrow night. Et ne voulez pas aussi venir demain you seul. You want to invite somebody to be a part of tomorrow's tomorrow night service. Vous voulez inviter quelqu'un au culte special service. De demain soir, un culte très spécial. But tomorrow night we also have a consecration service in this place. Mais ce sera aussi un culte de consécration. Bible says that how good and pleasant it is when brethren dwell together. La Bible déclare qu'il est bon et doux pour des frères et sœurs de demeurer ensemble. It is like oil that flows from the head of Aaron all the way down to the hem of his garment. Parce que c'est comme de lui qui coule depuis la tête de la d'Aaron jusqu'à son habit. And tomorrow whatever will be happening here you will be a partaker of it in Jesus name. Et demain tout ce qui se passera ici sera votre partage au nom de Jésus. Every oil that will be released from this platform you will be a partaker of it in Jesus name. Et toute parole déclarée en ce lieu sera votre partage au nom de Jésus. So tomorrow 